তো আমি ইতিমধ্যে কো যে নরসিংহ ভগবানের ক্রোধ দিছিল সরি ইন ইংলিশ সো আই অলরেডি সেই অলরেডি টোল ইউ দ্যাট নৃসিংহ দেব ওয়াজ ভেরি এঙ্গলি বিফোর বিফোর কিলিং হোম হিরণ্য কশি বিফোর কিলিং হিরণ্য কশি ইউ ওয়াজ ভেরি ভেরি এঙ্গলি দ্য কোয়েশন ইজ দ্যাট কৃষ্ণ অফন সেইড ইন ভগবত গীতা that uh, anger is not suitable for devotional practice can you please come closer so usor dai jo bolo assamese bila bol to english bila bolo usor dai jo come closer come closer if you leave you leave or come closer you can leave or come closer ekdom usor dai jo so in krishna consciousness anger is not considered desirable anger is undesirable don't get angry because our anger is material anger however there are many instances in the scripture where devotees express anger and that ultimately leading to a deeper understanding and relationship with krishna when a de- when a devotee get angry his relation with krishna or somebody's relation with krishna become deeper or when a devotee get angry his understanding about krishna or somebody's understanding about krishna become clear so it should mind it so devotee's anger is not ordinary anger it is the anger in the mood of goodness or it is anger desire because it is anger in transcendental form transcendental form so i'll give you some uh, three instances given in the scriptures where devotee shows their anger number 1 is uh, in mahabharata there was a character called drupadi everybody knows drupadi who is she wife of five pandavas okay very rare case generally male may have two or three wives but a single wife is not a wife of many husbands very less this is mahabharata it is that is a big story i'll tell you something it's not a very ordinary thing like you know it's you think of that the pandavas are very cool <laughs> that get only a single or they are not qualified to uh, get five uh, like qualified ladies that is why i accept one no no not like that okay many time i told a story to you maybe long back it is so happened that actually when arjuna actually uh, 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 got uh, in samba then when uh, arjun bring drupadi uh, to the hermitage cottage ashrama uh, then uh, all the five pandavas they said that it's a gift for us so why don't we go to our mother to show our gift to her this is a gift for them drupadi is a gift then uh, judeshwar bima Arjuna, Nakul and Sahadev. Five, they start moving to Kunti Devi. Kunti Devi also in a different habitus. So, uh, uh, they uh, knock the door. Mom, I am coming, we are coming. Huh? Kunti says, why are you coming? We, your beloved sons, Judishthir, Arjuna and Bhima. Judishthir, Bhima, Arjuna, Nakul and Sahadev. Huh? Mother is busy in the kitchen. Kunti is busy in the kitchen. He says, I'm, uh, are you very hurry? I'm cooking for you. No, 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 no. I am, we are bringing a very beautiful gift for you. Please come out. Oh, is it so? Really? Yes. So this is a, don't say. Don't disclose the truth. Huh? Just hide it, you know. 
we often do it is no surprise pleasant surprise no so do this is also very like make a fun which is five friends like sons brothers okay don't say anything let mom to just guess mom can you guess what we are bringing for you there something you say very precious yes it's very beautiful also very 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 precious oh very sweet okay if it is so you distribute among yourself are you saying like that it is very sweet if it is very precious and mother say hey you this why you are so means uh, busy you just distribute whatever gift you bring i'm coming then the five your know, brother say Arjun pet lost on us Arjun is we Arjun is at a very i know you know it's a new anyway then uh, you know to this they say how can i distribute now you go this say ha uh, and you go to start crying on this like you know i am for Arjun how how can i distribute to all these fellows you know again there is a story everybody is crying and you know when everybody is crying all, all of you know that Uh, who is uh, always uh, coming to her krishna <laughs> anyway so that is drupadi and a drupadi ha huh, a devotee of krishna and is and he she considered krishna to be her protector and friend always all you have seen so many so many stories hmm? there are so many stories with durva uh, with durva sa there's a big story you know durva sa came to the uh, hermitage of pandava uh, with 16000 almost or some in some scripts are given 10000 10000 disciples and who make this tricky plan by durudan <laughs> one day actually durva sa came to durudan's palace and durudan he fed uh, Uh, Durva sa like anything and was very pleased. Say, I would like to give you a bone. And he said that my only bone is very cunning, you know. Durudan is very cunning. Durudan said, "Say, say, can you do a favor for me? Why not? I am just two. Like, please, when you go to my brothers, my brothers' place, they are in the hermitage in the jungle, and you just go and have your darshan with your full staff. And his staff is very big, you know, about ten thousand. and what is the what is the hidden agenda of durudan behind is that if in case this durvasa who is always in fire mood <laughs> is known as fire personality and if he moves to the hermitage of pandava and pandava fail to give him proper reception to the 10000 his disciples then finish durvasa will be very angry and when durvasa is angry his only thing given is to what curse <laughs> so durudan indirectly tried to curse curse give a curse to his fellow brothers very weak so anyway but wicked has got very strong and limited brain you know that is why we often call vaishnav borosotu very intelligent vaishnav are very very intelligent anyway so Here I am going to tell you. Our main topic is sometimes devotee also become angry. I am telling you know that very story in Mahabharata. Then when Drupadi was publicly humiliated and she is disrobed in front of the royal court. Royal court what they are? Bisma, Druna, Druna Sajja, Kripa Sajja, the big big still what? members are there in the court and in front of them drupadi was disrobed she is humiliated and uh, she become very angry because you know the ladies bhushan decoration is many a time it is said that it is not simply the clothes it is the character she feel most unprotected because of some reason or other she is being criticized by her character because that is the pride of the ladies so this uh, 
Durbodi in front of the seniors, in front of the grandfathers, in front of great grandfathers, since this robbed. Naturally, she has become very angry. And she became so angry that Prasthama, she looked to her husbands. What would be? And husbands are just going down their hair, their head like this. Right from today's state, then the big Bhima, then Gandhip Dari Arjuna, then the two beautiful Nokul and Sahadeva, all are like this. Then do you think the wife is happy? Being most unprotected in the health of their husband. So, wife is not here, no today. So you see, who is very angry? Dupodi, natural, quite natural. Then she looked to whom? The great grandfathers, Bhima, oh sorry, Bhishma, Druna Saitya, look to them like this. Now what is your duty? Because in front of you, I'm get, I got humiliated. I am your daughter-in-law. Great, great daughter-in-law, granddaughter-in-law. Then Vesma and others, not like this, but like this. Sideways, up, not down. Again become angry. Anger become more, more angry. Then finally, she said, is there anybody who can help me? Is there a single one who can help me in this bad situation? Then nobody. So she becomes most angry. And when we generally become angry, we forget Krishna. Because our angers are material anger. And Drupadi is a devotee. When she is a devotee, she becomes angry, she cried. And she cried for whom? Krishna. Krishna Bhagavan. As you know, a question generally arises in our mind. Krishna see this thing from the Guru Vrindavan. Why not he is helping in the beginning? Because he wants to do it first time. And another, there are too many, two, two, three philosophies are there. The first philosophy is that Krishna doesn't like to interfere with anybody's business. So long as one is uh, somehow managing himself or herself. If you want to control a thing, if you want to manage a thing yourself, uh, Krishna never interferes you. So, she said, she, uh, Krishna looked to Drupadi, and Drupadi somehow managing, tightening her body like this, that, and Krishna said, okay, try. Krishna tried to help. He said, Drupadi is arranging herself, so why should I interfere? And once when Drupadi is at last, then Drupadi just raise their head and say, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna, So this is a very sweet prayer for Krishna, you know. Once Krishna hears this, he can't stop anywhere, he can run to somebody's heart. When Krishna heard that, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram. he can't stop anywhere. He forget about Lakshmi Devi, he forget about the big, big yogis. Uh, he jumped over to Drupadi. I'm here, why you are crying? When you cry, please do not cry in front of Krishna, because Krishna will come to you. So, when you become angry, try to manage yourself. Please don't disturb our little Krishna. And if you like to disturb, it's good, of course. You become devoted. You become devoted. Eh? Krishna will come. And in front of Drupadi, Krishna is coming. And you know, Krishna has got infinite stock of everything. Infinite beauty, infinite strength, infinite wealth, infinite fame, infinite renunciation. Everything. Krishna said, what you want to do? See, my condition, I am lost. Okay. This is just sick. And from here, infinite garments, stocks of garments comes out, you know. All big, big, beautiful size. 
and these sarees are not ordinary you know what you are wearing it is divya sari is the transcendental then spiritual you know garments supplied by whom supreme person is the god to whom who is dearest devotee and this fool dushashan you know is just disrobing disrobing and disrobing and he has got the strength of infinite elephant and he is in finite elephant strength become negligible in front of the infinite strength of krishna so drupadi become angry and this angry anger of drupadi bring krishna and krishna subdued them all you know is not responded to the call of drupadi and provided her unlimited garment to cover herself and this is the beauty of the devotee get angry okay when we become angry we are not rewarded we are punished when a husband become angry in front of the uh, wife you know get the good punishment no food in the kitchen and when the uh, beloved wife become angry you know the husband know what difficulty have to face so this is material all material okay no sweet past times here on the devotee can so or uh, transform their anger to a transcendental sweet past time this is one example one more example i'd like to give that is the story of kalya and this is from bhagavad pura one example i am giving from mahabharat the second example is from bhagavad pura you know that story of the kalya when krishna jump into the jamuna jump into jamuna and try to subdue kalya then you know all the wives of kalya nagakanya nagopati become very angry who become angry nagopanya kalya's wife kalya is a big serpent you know and he is a big naga and his all wives are nago nagopati and all these nagopati become very angry and try to attack krishna try and try to come and attack krishna first duty then krishna give a smile hey what you are doing so, you are devotee no <laughs> kalya is not devotee i like to do some past times so what you full doing huh krishna he loved the devotees like anything and just give a look to the wife say you are devotees don't forget don't show your material anger so your transcendental spiritual anger and then krishna subdue them krishna make them calm and quiet and also finally calm so this type of anger by the devotee wives of kaliya is a different to bring krishna's mercy so that it helps her their husband their husband to that just release from that bad uh, point there's one example the third example i'd like to give is from chaitanya charitamrit first is from where second is from where bhagavatam and third is from chaitanya charitamrit in chaitanya charitamrit there is a story of radha rani jai radha rani ki jai because unless you say anything about radha rani our hearts are not say you know become full you know, we are trusty radha rani ki jai once radha rani become very angry and this ang- anger mood of radha rani we love no? <laughs> why whom radha rani is only angry with krishna so once radha rani is very angry at krishna for neglecting her and spending more time to another gopi hey krishna I don't like to see your face. Well, I'd like to see your face from a very close proximity. That is the Radha Rani's heart. But say I don't like to see your face. You neglect me. You spend more time with her, not with me. So this Radha Rani often play this uh, past time with Krishna. And then. Radha Rani, what happened? You must know that thing that decided to leave Krishna. 
मेरा सेला बिजी विथ ऑल अदर दिक्सटीन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स एंड थाउजेंड एंड वन हंड्रेड एंड एट लेट इज नॉट विथ मी आई एम योर प्राइम आई एम योर सिफ वाइफ आई लिव यू एंड राधा रानी जस्ट गो साम एंड हुई फॉलो इन कृष्ण इज फॉलो यू कृष्ण एज टू फॉलो नो वे आउट एंड चली नो सो कृष्ण फॉलो हार एंड बेग फॉर हार फॉर गिवनेस Please forgive me. Man, Bhanjan. So ultimately, you know, this anger of Narayani deepened their, you know, uh, friendships. Or when she becomes angry, it depends the relation between. Krishna and Radha Rani. So ultimately, their love for each other become more and more and more deep. And that arrangement made by whom? Radha Rani. By her anger. So this type of anger is necessary. Don't get angry with your father because it separates you from father for some time. And Radha Rani even become angry. It brings Krishna more closer, and their love becomes more and more and more. So this is the difference between the anger of a devotee and anger of ordinary people. So the anger of the devotee will not for any personal gain or any selfish reason, but for but will express of there are the expressions of devotion, love for Krishna. Thank you.